somehow we can be united with Jesus and the sins that he paid for would be yours, then God won't hold your sins against you. So is it just because Jesus died and then he rose and defeated sin and death? Does that just apply to everybody now? No. How are you united with Christ? Because if you're not, you're still an enemy of God. That's the most important question across the board. What must I do to be saved from myself, from God's wrath because of what I've done? I pray that's the answer, the question in your heart right now. What must I do to be saved? The Bible says it's faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says you can be united with Jesus by faith. Now the kind of faith that the Bible wants is not the kind of faith that says, Dang, somebody told me this, this, this room was burning up. That's crazy. I believe him. <laughs> and you stay in the room. The Bible's not interested in that faith. The Bible's interested in faith that says, Dang, this room is burning up. I'm going to get my tail about here before I get burned up. Yeah. That's the kind of faith the Bible values. It includes knowledge. It includes you knowing. It includes you agreeing. But it also includes you trusting. And when you trust something, you act on it. You're not saved by your works, but the kind of faith that the Bible values always works itself out. So if you're in this room and you said, you know what, I think I've trusted Christ, but my life has always looked the same. I still govern my own life. I still love the same things I used to love. Then you need to think about whether or not you really trusted in Jesus Christ. Hmm. Because when Jesus hits somebody, they have a new governor, they have a new king, and they That's begin to right. follow him instead of the old things they used to follow. Right. So my prayer for us tonight is that every single one of us in here, nobody excluded, would examine their own hearts to say, have I really trusted the King Jesus Christ, or am I just playing the church game? Come on. Or have I been going around my whole life doing whatever? So that's my prayer tonight, that we would all examine our hearts and figure out, have we really put faith in Jesus the way that the Bible talks about? Because he loves us deeply. If nobody ever told you that Jesus loves you, know that he loves you. He does not want to hold your sins against you, but he must if your sins are not paid for. Jesus paid for them if you're trusting them. So, what we want to do is, we want to say if there's anybody in this room who wants to know more about Jesus, wants to know more about this question, what must I do to be saved? We want to talk to you after the show. I think what we'll do is we'll meet over in this corner over here. Now, this is not for people who just want to chop it up and want autographs and want pictures or who just want to talk. That's not this time. We'll go out there and do that after that. But if anybody says, I want to know more about Jesus, I want to know about, more about salvation, I need somebody to talk to, pray with, those kind of things. And we'll meet over here in this corner. We'll chop it up after that. Is that cool? All right. Can I pray out? Father, um, we thank you 